Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing alcohol inks on tiles. Then I'm going to be catching them on fire. I'm only going to do one at a time. I have some water. I have a fire extinguisher. The door's open. All that. Um, but before I get started, and I've never done this before, so this will be an experiment for me. Before I get started, I want to talk about the tiles that I use. This tile is from Home Depot. This tile is from Lowe's. As you can see, uh, they're both great. The Lowe's is a little smaller than the Home Depot tile. The Lowe's has a brown edge, and then on one side it has black writing on it. Um, the Home Depot tile is white around, but it has these little knobs on it. The two backs are like this. They're both okay. I put corks on the back of my coasters. But I think I like the Lowe's better. The only problem with the Lowe's is this black writing and the brown on the side. Now, if you're doing resin or any kind of light resin or light paint even, this might show through and the brown might show through. I've had that happen. So a lot of times I have to paint this. I paint a bunch of them at a time, white, before I do it. And that's what I did with these coasters. Um, I painted the sides white because I wasn't sure that the alcohol inks was going to cover that. Um, I have a holders I use and these fit better in them. But there's nothing wrong with these either. They're both about the same price. I was getting these for, I think, eight cents a piece at Home Depot, and I don't. That was like six months ago. I think the price has gone up. This was more like fifteen cents a piece. Uh, maybe twelve. I'm sorry, twelve or fifteen cents a piece. So these are a little more expensive, but they both work. So I just wanted to show you the difference. If you're using dark colors, you don't have to worry about the sides. If you're using light colors, you do. That's the only bad thing about this one. And if you don't like the knobs, then just get this one. All right, a little tip on the tiles. So I'm gonna be doing one at a time. I've never done it. I've seen it done on YouTube. Unfortunately, uh, I'm trying to think of her name. I'll have her name um, where I saw it, if I can find it at the, in the description. So let's get started here. All right, so I have Ranger alcohol inks. I'm going to be doing a little bit of green, a little bit of butterscotch, a little bit of, um, what is this, raspberry, wild plum. This is called Mixative. Um, and this is a snow cap, and this is also Ranger. It's a white. I'm going to be doing another alcohol ink, but this is called Tranquil, and it's a pearl. And you have to shake some of the metallics and the pearls you have to shake up. The rest of them you don't have to worry about shaking. So I'm going to use that color, and then I'm using a pinata, which I put in this pinata uh, brass. I haven't used this yet, but everybody says like this is the one to use if you want a little sparkle metallics. So I'm going to try that one. All right, let's get started. Sort of scary. Make sure you have metal underneath here. So I clean the tiles after I painted them. And I hope it doesn't interfere on the sides where I painted them, but let's see. So I'm just going to pour some alcohol ink in. I'm going straight out of the bottle. I suppose you can do it. Um, thin these down with some alcohol. 99% alcohol. I don't know. I should have gloves on. I 
like that metal already. Got the red. Yeah, I'm going to put some gloves on. <clears throat> it's not like paint. It doesn't come off very easily. So I'll be right back. And it dries quickly. So i got to work fast. I mean, I might not even need to fire this up. I like what I'm seeing right now. white on the edge. Yeah, I think I should have probably thinned it down a little bit with more alcohol. Do that on the next one. Okay, let's see if that'll work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, move these out of the way, see what we get. Okay, let it do its thing. Well, that wasn't very quick. I mean, that was quick. We didn't do Okay. Really didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let me put a few more drops. I think I'm going to use some, some with alcohol. I'm going to add more alcohol to it. What I have in this container, I think 99% alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and just rub the edges, make sure I get color on the edges. Add a little alcohol and tilt it. That colored the edge. All right, a little bit more here. Okay, that one is done. Very shimmery. 
Now this next one, I'm going to try to catch it on fire better. Put that one over here. I have different colors that are already pre-mixed with alcohol. They're a little bit lighter, but I'm going to do a little... it up a little bit. I think these are all rangers too. Okay. A little bit different. Some of that pearl in here. One more of the green. Okay, I'm gonna get it on the edge. I'm gonna catch it on fire. Yeah, as long as my smoke detector doesn't go off, it should be good. That's what I'm worried about. All right. Well, that worked out better. So I think the key is to pre-mix some of your alcohol inks with alcohol. It just stays wetter longer and you don't waste as much color. If you do it straight on, I mean, you're just, it's more expensive that way. That turned out pretty good. Letting it do its own thing. Now for the edges, we still have those. So I can um, go back later and just put some alcohol on my fingers and go ahead and go around the edge. But I like how it turned out. Pretty. Okay, well the smoke detector didn't go off, which is a good thing. Well, let's try it again. I'm going to be resining these. you feel. Remember to shake your brass. Go ahead and tilt this a little bit. I do want to fire that up. Let it dry just a little bit. I mean, it was a little scary, but I'm going to do it again. I just don't.
Okay, I'm wearing my mask when this is on fire. Okay, I think I put too much brass on that one. It sort of faded out the colors. Or it's probably because I didn't use as many of the, the colors right out of the bottle. I don't like that one as much. So I'm learning right along with you. Try that again. Okay, so we're going to go just to get some color on there. Didn't really use white last time. A little bit of butterscotch. Pink is pretty. A little bit less. Of that color this time. I think I want to try blowing it around a little bit. it again. I'm waving my hand so the it doesn't get the smoke detector. pretty. All right. That's all I uh, painted on the sides. So let me show you. I'll be back and I'll show you all four of them together. I think I want to redo this one. Um, I like the others better than this one. So that's one thing about alcohol inks. It's easy to just redo the design. So let's get started. I fixed up all the sides. I don't have to worry about those anymore. Really easy to do. more alcohol. There's a lot of alcohol on there, so I'm going to wait for it to dry just a little bit. Doesn't take long.
All right, let's see if that looks a little better. Just one little tiny bit of this sort of is hiding. I haven't been using the white. Um, I don't know. I'll just put a little bit of, well, I don't want to do that. All right, let's catch this on fire. Yeah, it's taken, a, there's a lot of alcohol on that one. Okay, turns the, the alcohol inks darker, as you can see. So let me show you all four of them. So if you don't like one, just redo it. You can always just put plain alcohol on it if you don't like the design. And it'll move the alcohol around. So I think this is my favorite. I like that one. Another one. That brass is sort of the best metallic that I've seen. This one. And this one. You see a face. You see that bird right there? Looks like a either some a human with something in its mouth or a bird with a beak. I don't know. I don't know which. I don't know if you can see it like they did. See? I'm always seeing things in my art. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. A lot of the things I use are down in the links below. If you click on that for the next hour, no matter what you buy, I'll get a little credit for it. Um, what else? My social sites are down there. Push the notification bell, that way when I upload my next video, you'll get notified. Anyway, have a great night or day. Take care. Keep on pouring. Bye.